Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. It's going to be hot and humid here today. So I've changed my pain routine. I've had a really bad two weeks with pain, but I need to get stuff done. It's time to get stuff done. My animals are depending upon it, so it's time. Not only that, but we've had a homicide. We've had three homicides on the property. Um, we have fox back. Um, my husband saw the fox at about between 2 and 4 a.m. yesterday morning. Um, and within some time, all three of my Bantam hens are gone. I found one pile of poof. So my little Bantam chickens are gone the ones that laid the little tiny eggs. All the roosters are there, but the hens are gone. For some reason, fox never get the roosters. They always get the hens. Crazy. Now, I'm hopeful that two of the hens actually are just hiding away. And hopefully, only one of the hens got killed. But that's being hopeful. Last night I set a live trap and I don't know what I did wrong or if it's just a really crafty animal. Um, but the bait was gone. I used one of those little cans of cat food. The whole can is gone. So I'm going to set it again tonight. Uh, I'm going to use chicken in it tonight and hopefully really make it to where they have to struggle to get that, I guess. I don't know. Maybe my little hinge was wrong. I don't know. I set it off twice trying to sit it down. So I know that it was, I, I don't know, but it didn't work. And apparently it's operator error or a very, very crafty little animal. Anyway, so I'm going to try to take care of that. Goat hoofs need to be trimmed. I've got everything I need. And so I'm going to wrestle them down and see if I can get that especially orchids back foot. Uh, one of them looks fairly bad. Um, so I'm going to get in there and try to cut that, at least get that one foot done and then work every day just to, to work with them to get it done. Their front hooves look great because of the, the hardware cloth that's in the, in the barn stall. That is what's kept them looking good. So with all the mud and everything, I really need to get it done. I did price Orchid out yesterday, and if they buy her, that would be great. I think Lily will be fine, and then next year we will breed her, and she'll have her babies as her little herd. So the game plan is to let Orchid go, because they really want that bloodline. They really want her bloodline with their bucks, and... Orchid is a lovely little goat. Don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't like Orchid at all. She's very, she causes bad behavior with Lily. She is very domineering. Um, she's, she's funny. She has the most absolute great personality. But here's the deal. If I have to, before this fence is put up, go out and tie um, or walk in order to feed, you know, great stuff. I can only handle one because together when chaos causes, they go on a little craziness with one of them will depend upon me to keep her calm. So right now in my stage of pain and in my stage, Lily is the one I wanted to keep. I only wanted one goat to begin with. Okay. Because I knew that I would breed the goat eventually and there would be babies. There was no reason to have two goats except for when they were teeny. I didn't want her to be by herself. So having the two, I have decided that Lily is easier for me to work with. And Orchid would be better to go to a farm where she can utilize her bloodline and better a herd somewhere else. So hopefully I get the price that I asked for her. You know, you don't get what you pay back. Um, but with her, they didn't have to bottle feed. They didn't have to use that 
that time, she's already ready to rock and roll. She is leash trained. She's collar trained. She's not tie trained, and she's not hoof trained. She's a little harder to deal with that way, and I think that they will be better with her. Lily, on the other hand, is more laid back and just a little lily of the garden, of the valley, of the garden, whatever. I like Lily better. So, if I just have Lily, then everything's going to go a little smoother. She can get with Solomon a little bit more. Um, she seems to be better with the dogs than Orchid. So I think that that bonding between Solomon and Lily will be a little more concrete. Anyway, that's my plans. I want to talk about being prepared here just a little bit. Um, I'm getting ready to fill buckets and consider what I'm going to get on the Kroger uh, stock up. I really think that we need to stock up on more bottled water. And I saw a place in my husband's garage where we could put a lot of bottled water. <laughs> Just saying. So I'm also going to be going through my kitchen cabinet pantry. I'm going to pull all of that stuff out. I'm going to go through it because I have about, I have three milk crates plus full of canned goods to get in that cabinet. So I'm going to be rotating that cabinet out. And what is ever is expired or I think we're not going to eat, I'm going to bring out the can opener and I'm going to feed the chickens. And I think we'll have fun doing that. I think that'd be a fun video, actually. So buckets, pantry, and getting my plants into the containers. I'm doing container planting this year um, until I get a handle on my chickens. They have destroyed the, my garden spot. And so... I'm going to put containers out in that small area behind the summer kitchen in in between that and the chicken paddock. So that's where I'm going to be planting my garden. My plants, I just watered them again today. It looks like my chickens got in there and played a little bit with them. <laughs> oh. But anyway, that's what the plans are. Um, being prepared is something that everyone should do. Extra water, extra food, extra medical, all of those things you need that you use every day, very important. Y'all have a great day. Hugs from a distance. I hope this made sense. Bye, y'all.